This is the Cecis New Castle, built in 1777 as the home of the local master. Today, it is home to the town's Museum of Art and History. In Cecis, however, history and art don't just live in the museum. They're everywhere, on every step, everywhere you cast your eye. And this is the Latvian flag. It was born in medieval Cecis. After World War II, it was replaced by the hammer and sickle. But in 1988, Cecis was the first town to raise the flag again. This flag was made by the jeweler Daumanns Kalmisch. His ancient jewellery workshop is part of the new castle. The jeweller welcomes visitors to his workshop, not only to watch. You can also try your hand at forging a piece of jewellery or a coin, or try a full set of historic regalia and feel, just for a moment, like a 10th century Latgalian princess. In order to better understand the depth of history in the Cesis area, we need to take a little trip seven kilometers outside the city to Lake Adaishi. On one of the little inlets of the lake, we find an island with the Araishi Lake settlement. It was built as a fortified living area and inhabited by the ancient Latgalian tribes of the 9th and 10th centuries. After long and meticulous research, a detailed replica of the settlement was built on the site. Today, it is the number one place for learning about the lifestyle and building techniques of the ancient Latgalians in the Viking era. The Araishi Lake settlement is only one part of the Araishi Museum Reserve that includes the medieval castle ruins and reconstructions of stone and Bronze Age dwellings. The most active time of year here is at the end of July during the Araishi Festival. These grand oak trees are considerably younger but no less engaging historical witnesses. They encircle Ungumwija Manor, the oldest wooden architectural monument in the Baltics. Over the ages, the manor has undergone many twists and turns of fate, but now it can once again charm visitors with its harmonious ensemble of 18th century wooden buildings and Baroque wall paintings painted directly on the wood. Ungermuija was built by General Balthasar von Kampenhausen, an important historical figure for both Vidzema and Russia. A Swedish army officer, he signed up for military service under Tsar Peter the Great, and later went on to serve the Tsarina Elizabeth. Not only was he a soldier, he was also the governor of Finland, and in the twilight of his life, he returned to Vidzeim, built a manor house, and planted a park, in which he erected a tea house for himself and his wife to enjoy tea, or perhaps some wine, at the end of a busy day. Today, anyone who has arrived at Ungermuija for a visit, or perhaps a concert, is welcome to take tea here. Tesis is one of the oldest cities in Latvia and a special favourite among tourists. Its oldest surviving structure is the medieval castle fortress. Tesis castle was built at the beginning of the 13th century. The first ruler of the Livonian order chose it as his residence, but it enjoyed its golden era at the turn of the 15th and 16th centuries under the rulership of Walter von Plettenberg. In this era, Tsesis became the center of power in Livonia. The castle was both a fortress and a cloister, and the knights had to adopt the lifestyle of monks. This does not, however, mean they spent their entire time in prayer. Today's visitors are offered a series of theatrical activities such as who lived in the Tsesis castle, one day in the life of a crusader, 
medieval games, a medieval wedding, and even a reception hosted by Walter von Plettenbergs himself. You can try to find the living quarters of the ruler, called the Hall of Stars, for yourself. You will have to take a lantern and climb the circular stairs of the Western Tower. Says church was built at the same time as the castle. The organ was added much later and is now considered to be one of the best concert organs in Latvia. Serving both art and religion, choral and music concerts take place in the church regularly throughout the year. The church steeple is the highest vantage point in Sesis, offering a wide panoramic view of the town and its surroundings. You could refer to Sesis as a typical Latvian small town. However, it is neither sleepy nor provincial. It is a town with a bustling cultural life. Once a year, this activity reaches a crescendo. At the end of July and the beginning of August, for three weeks, Sesis turns into a contemporary art metropolis. Each year, the festival becomes ever more international and its high-quality program attracts an increasing number of art lovers from Latvia, Germany, Scandinavia and other European countries. Ancient and contemporary, romantic and creative, that's Sesis for you.